posterior approach to the humerus. A brief video. This video presentation retrieved from the book of operative approaches in orthopedic surgery and traumatology. Thanks for the Fridium Kirschbaumer, Kuno Wieser, Karl Joachim Wirth and Alexander Avocaro. They contributed the science and medicine with their great book. Operative Approaches in Orthopedic Surgery and Traumatology, Fridium Kirschbaumer, Kuno Wieser, Karl Joachim Wirth, Alexander Avocaro. Dash, second edition. Georg, Team Verlag, Stuttgart. Principal Indications Fractures Pseudoarthrosis Tumors, Inflammation The patient is placed in the prone position with the upper arm abducted and the elbow flexed. A pad is placed beneath the shoulder. Draping should allow the arm to be moved freely. The skin incision begins on the posterior aspect 3 cm distal to the acromion and continues to the tip of the olecranon. After transection of the subcutaneous tissue, the triceps fascia is divided in the center proximally from the olecranon, and the triceps muscle is then dissected bluntly with a finger and divided sharply from the distal humerus. The radial nerve and deep brachial artery can be palpated in the depth of the wound, passing from proximal and medial to distal and lateral. The neurovascular bundle is snared from below and retracted laterally with cautious traction figure. The triceps is then further dissected proximal to this, bluntly at first and then with a raspatory. The neurovascular bundle can be undermined with the raspatory, cautiously retracting it in the medial and distal direction. The radial nerve and deep brachial artery can be palpated in the depth of the wound, passing from proximal and medial to distal and lateral. The neurovascular bundle is snared from below and retracted laterally with cautious traction C figure. The triceps is then further dissected proximal to this, bluntly at first and then with a raspatory. The neurovascular bundle can be undermined with the raspatory, cautiously retracting it in the medial and distal direction. If exposure of the radial nerve is desired, the lateral intermuscular septum together with the remainder of the adherent medial head of the triceps is split with scissors from proximal to distal, which brings the radial nerve clearly into view. The back of the humerus is covered by a superficial and a deep layer of the triceps. The superficial layer consists of the long and the lateral heads of the triceps, which unite distally at the common tendon insertion. Distal to the sulcus of the radial nerve, nearly the entire posterior aspect of the humerus is covered by the medial head of the triceps. The radial nerve and the accompanying deep brachial artery run in a distal direction in the sulcus of the radial nerve and pierce the lateral intermuscular septum, reaching the flexor side of the upper arm. See figure. A cross-section of the posterior approach is shown schematically in, see figure. Dangers. The radial nerve on the lateral side and the ulnar nerve on the medial distal side may be damaged during dissection of the humerus, see figure. Before splitting the deep-lying medial head of the triceps, care should be taken not to injure the muscular branches issuing from the radial nerve. In the proximal wound region, the cutaneous branches emerging at the distal end of the deltoid muscle must be spared. Anatomical site. Schematic cross-section through the proximal upper arm. The posterior and lateral approaches are identified. By arrows, right arm, view from proximal side. One biceps brachii. 2 brachialis, 3 humerus, 4 lateral head of triceps brachii, 
5 long head of triceps brachii 6 medial head of triceps brachii 7 lateral intermuscular septum 8 medial intermuscular septum 9 brachial artery and accompanying veins 10 basilic vein 11 superior ulnar collateral artery and vein 12 deep brachial artery and vein 13 musculocutaneous nerve 14 median nerve 15 ulnar nerve 16 medial cutaneous nerve of forearm 17 radial nerve anatomical site schematic cross-section through the proximal upper arm the posterior and lateral approaches are identified by arrows, right arm, view from proximal side. One biceps brachii, two brachialis, three humerus, four lateral head of triceps brachii, five long head of triceps brachii, six medial head of triceps brachii, seven lateral intermuscular septum. 8 medial intermuscular septum, 9 brachial artery and accompanying veins, 10 basilic vein, 11 superior ulnar collateral artery and vein, 12 deep brachial artery and vein, 13 musculocutaneous nerve, 14 median nerve, 15 ulnar nerve, 16 medial cutaneous nerve of forearm 17 radial nerve this video presentation retrieved from the book of operative approaches in orthopedic surgery and traumatology thanks for the fridium kirschbaumer kuno weiser carl joachim Wirth, and alexander avocaro they contributed the science and medicine with their great book Operative Approaches in Orthopedic Surgery and Traumatology, Fridium Kirschbaumer, Kuno Wieser, Karl Joachim Wirth, Alexander Avocaro. Dash, second edition. Georg, Team Verlag, Stuttgart. Thanks for watching my video. Do not forget to subscribe to my non-profit channel. Thanks for watching video. Do not forget to subscribe to my non-profit YouTube channel.